power plant operators control, operate, or maintain machinery to generate electric power. In this video, we're gonna help you answer the question, should you become a power plant operator in 2021? We're gonna go over the latest salaries, job market statistics, and the latest trends. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. If you end up enjoying the video, hit that thumbs up to support the channel. And if you're a power plant operator, let us know down in the comments below what your experience has been in this occupation. Power plant operators have a number of roles and responsibilities. They adjust controls to generate a specific amount of electric power. They monitor power plant equipment and indicators to detect evidence of problems. They control power generating equipment such as boilers, turbines, generators, and reactors. If there is a problem, a power plant operator will take action based off readings from charts, meters, and gauges. They can also control and maintain auxiliary equipment such as pumps, fans, compressors, condensers, and heaters. Power plant operators have a number of roles even beyond this simple list. Providing electricity to communities, cities, and towns is extremely important. Electricity blackouts can cause a lot of distress for people and communities around the country. And power plant operators ensure that these blackouts are rare or don't happen at all. So one of the best parts about this occupation is the barrier to entry, in that there is a pretty low barrier to entry to become a power plant operator. According to the Occupational Information Network, 74% of power plant operators just have a high school diploma. 21% have a post-secondary certificate, meaning they got a high school diploma and then they got a certificate on top of that and only about 3% have an associate's degree. So higher education is not required for this occupation. There is formal training required of power plant operators, but higher education isn't necessary. As far as compensation goes, power plant operators do pretty well. In 2019, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average base salary of a power plant operator was around $80,000. Not bad for an occupation that really just requires a high school diploma. They were beat out by nuclear power operators, very similar to power plant operators, but the United States government separates out nuclear power operators from power plant operators, even though they're both providing electricity. And you could argue that a nuclear power operator is a power plant operator. That would make a lot of sense to me. Power plant operators did earn more than electrical linemen, electricians, gas plant operators, and water and wastewater treatment operators. And it gets even better for power plant operators. Their wages have been increasing over time. In 1999, the average base salary of a power plant operator was $43,110. This grew to $79,370, almost $80,000 in 2019. So since 1999, there has been a wage growth of $36,260 for power plant operators, or about $1,700 gained every single year on average. Not bad for an occupation that doesn't require college. So we can take these numbers and plot them into the future. This means using the average yearly wage growth by 2021, power plant operators will probably make around $83,000 a year nationally as a base salary. And this will increase to around $97,000 a year by 2029. A starting salary for a power plant operator would probably be around $44,000 nationally. But as power plant operators get more and more experience, and maybe they live in a state that pays a little bit more, the top 10% of power plant operators make more than $108,000 per year nationally. As far as which states tend to pay power plant operators the greatest wage, actually the state of California came out on top with an average base salary of almost $95,000 per year. Other high paying states include the state of Washington, the state of Hawaii, and the state of New Jersey. The lowest paying state for power plant operators was actually found to be the state of Virginia, where the average base salary was around $56,000 per year. So there's quite a discrepancy in pay between the state of Virginia and the state of California for people in this occupation. So that covers the compensation of power plant operators. Next, we're gonna get into the job market, which has been challenging for power plant operators over the past two decades. But first, we'll go over the size of the workforce. This is not a super large workforce. In 2019, there was 34,000 employed power plant operators across the entire United States. 
there were far more electricians, electrical linemen, and water and wastewater treatment operators. There were more power plant operators than nuclear power and gas plant operators, which, you know, the government's separating them out a little bit. But this is a small occupation. With small occupations, you often have to move across state lines to find job opportunities. But power plants aren't going away, obviously. So if you did get a role, you could probably stay with a certain company in a certain place for a very long period of time. Just keep in mind, this is a pretty small workforce with not very many people. And the workforce has changed over time. In 1999, there was 34,310 employed power plant operators. This actually hit a high in 2012, 2013 of around 41,000 employed. And then since then, it has dipped. In 2019, there were 33,620 employed power plant operators. So there was actually less employed power plant operators today than there were in 1999, which means that on average, there's been a loss of about 30 jobs per year over the past two decades. And the government is kind of chalking this up to gains in productivity. They're automating a lot of things at the power plants. So this could continue. And in fact, the government is projecting job losses for power plant operators into the future, into 2029. By 2029, they're projecting around 29,000 employed power plant operators in the United States, which would be a loss of around 5,000 jobs. Whereas using the historical trend, it would be a little bit better. Using history, there'd be around 33,000 employed by 2029. So the job losses wouldn't be as severe if you're just looking at the historical trend. But one little bit of good news, when I did do an Indeed search and I looked for power plant operator job postings across the United States, I did find like over 6,000 job postings for power plant operators. So I know that there's going to be, and the government is projecting job losses into the future. As of right now, there's quite a few job postings, over 6,000 for power plant operators across the entire country. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Maybe if you're a power plant operator, let us know. So the other big thing to understand about this occupation, like I said, there's a tiny workforce. It's not a large workforce. And not just that, there's certain places that have all the employed. For example, the state of California has almost 4,000 employed power plant operators in that state alone. Texas also has a lot of employed power plant operators, but in the Midwest and in certain Southern states, there are less employed. So just definitely keep in mind, most of the job opportunities are gonna be in states with high populations, such as California, Texas, and probably New York. So next we're gonna get into the interests of power plant operators. If you're trying to figure out if this career would be suitable for you, definitely consider figuring out your Holland codes. Holland codes are interest codes. Basically you take an, a RISEC assessment and you get scores in six different themes. According to the Occupational Information Network, Power plant operators score high in the realistic and conventional theme. Many people that score high in R are realistic. They like being outdoors, repairing things. A lot of electrical linemen, electricians, plumbers, they all tend to score high in the realistic theme, loggers, building inspectors. Then the second code, the second code found for power plant operators is high and conventional. And these are the kind of people that love order. They love organizing things. So if you take a RISEC assessment and you score high in these two themes, this occupation might be compatible with your interests. I also found the most likely Myers-Briggs personality types for people in this occupation. Myers-Briggs is basically a personality assessment and it tells you which type you are, whether you're extroverted, introverted, thinking, feeling, judging, perceiving. So with power plant operators, the Myers-Briggs company actually found that the ESTJ is the most likely Myers-Briggs type to become a power plant operator. The second most likely type to become a power plant operator was the ESTP, the persuader. Third, ISTJ, the inspector. And fourth, ENTJ, also known as the commander. So notice that all four of these types, they all have the thinking over feeling, and they also tend to be judging over perceiving. So that might help you figure out if your personality is compatible with this occupation. So as you can see, there are pros and cons to becoming a power plant operator in 2021. They make great money, especially given the fact that the barrier to entry is pretty low. Only a high school diploma is required. The only troubling part about this occupation is the job losses. There's less employed today than there were in 1999. So over time, this might make it really competitive to get some of these jobs. But at the same time, it only requires a high school diploma. You're not gonna spend four, six, eight years getting trained for an occupation. You can immediately go after this without waiting pretty much right after high school at the age of 18, or if you're changing careers, 
you can almost immediately jump into a field like this. So no higher education is required, but small workforce, and you have to typically live in very specific places. So those are kind of some cons as well. So if you're a power plant operator, let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, also check out my building inspector video or my plumbing video. Both of these occupations also score high in the realistic theme. So a lot of people that would enjoy plumbing, being a plumber, being an electrician, would probably also enjoy this occupation as well. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.